Good morning, good morning. It is Sunday, August 2nd. It, we are now in August. It is so amazing. Leo season began, of course, uh, in July when the sun moved into Leo. But now we're like truly in Leo when it happens in August. And of course, I just love that. That is so exciting that this month that here we are in August. Hey, Deborah. Okay, let me get you down, Miss Deborah Robbins. Okay, so glad you're here. So we're doing horoscopes today, and I'm so excited about that because there's a lot happening this month, an awful lot happening this month. Hey, Jamie, so glad you're here, and I have a card for you as well. So this is, um, and I sent you an email, by the way, Jamie, because I wanted to keep up with some of the things that are happening for us. So here we are. It is actually quite exciting this month. And um, hey, Wendy. And Rita, you both came on at the same time, so I am getting Wendy Vargas and Rita down for cards. Okay, yes, okay. See, you you got this for me. You already know this, Deborah. I just love that. So we're going to do Scorpio first. Okay, that's good. And Rita will like that because she's the Scorpio sun sign as well. So let me just give you an update real quick, and then I'll move into horoscopes. As I said already, the sun is in Leo. Angie, the sun is in Leo, so this is a good thing. And it, right now, today, it is square Uranus. So this August starts with a big bang. And it is um, actually one of the most intense days that we'll have. That doesn't mean that it's a horrible thing. It means that we're just going to be having a lot of energy and a lot of things can be brought up that we have to deal with. I don't, I'll, some people view con conflict and chaos in a solely negative thing that we're gone into this negative energy. But the reason that we're there is because it brings right into our face what we have to deal with, what we have to find a resolution for, what we have to problem solve not focus on the problem but how can we make it better and most of the time it's been something that we've been putting off for a long time we've been saying well yeah this person really is annoying I really need to make some changes about this person either have them remove them from my life or whatever the resolution can be but we put it off because it's not something we really want to deal with it's not something that we really want to think about or talk about or do because it's very unsettling. Well, that just keeps building and building until we are faced with that opportunity and that, that adventure, if you will, of having to release whatever it is that we have to. So when those, those times of chaos and conflict come up, remind yourself, really, that this is your opportunity to clear it away and not have to deal with it again. And many times the person doesn't go away. Hey, Pam. Hey, Pam. Many times the person doesn't go, Leslie, Morgan, happy birthday, Morgan. Many times the person doesn't go away, but the way we feel about it changes. Hey, Sandra. So it makes it easier for the future. At the moment, not so much. So we're going to be presented with many of these opportunities now because, again, the moon is in Capricorn. It moves into Aquarius at 2.11 this afternoon. So this is, uh, and, and Mercury is in Cancer right now. And it is, hey, Jackie, I can't believe that you are on when you are there celebrating your anniversary in Colorado. Lucky you. I've saw, seen some of those pictures. They're gorgeous. And Ruth, thank you, because I'm not sure about my setting, so I'm hoping you're checking that for me. Thank you, Ruth. Um, the moon is opposing that whole Capricorn stellium, and it is creating some conflict there, along with the fact with Mars and Aries, along with Chiron and Aries, we're getting like a T-square. So that means it's 180 degrees opposite with that 90 degrees in the, thank you, Ruth, 90 degrees right there in the middle. And this causes even more tension. Again, the opportunity to make it better. The moon, we have a full moon tomorrow in Aquarius, 
and it is at 11 degrees Aquarius and it the full moon then is creating a um, a T square again a square again which is a, a negative aspect can be a negative aspect you know how I feel about these things and it is uh, doing this with Uranus now Uranus rules Aquarius that you and if we're going to get an idea of what 2021 is going to look like it's going to happen around this full moon tomorrow it is the dawning of the age of Aquarius if you will and I know we've heard that song from Hare <laughs> but it's true we are moving into that now and it is getting so much different than it was before so it's a taste of that age of Aquarius that we're going to see so pay attention to this full moon get an idea of what this is really going to feel like and what this is really going to look like we are in Leo season. Leo is about joy, family, creativity, embracing all the, rem the uh, let's see, yes, exactly. All of the, Andrea, Andrea, I saw that, yes, from 1967, yes. Beverly, thank you so much. So here we are in this wonderful time that is the overriding theme is that and in, because of that and because it's also uh, my sun sign and rising sign the special for for august is the sun sign reading each of us has all the signs in our in our chart we do there's we have 12 houses 12 signs but our sun sign is where we shine and where that shows up in our chart chart but without having to do the chart we can focus on the elements of that sun sign as i was saying here for leo we are in leo season so it's about creativity hey catherine creativity and it's about i got that beverly i've got your virgo and it's about family and children and vacations and romance and all the fun things in life leo is fun that's that's exactly where it shows up. It naturally rules the fifth house of the of the zodiac chart, of the astrological chart, and that is the fun house. So it is terrific. That is the overriding theme. We've got all these other aspects that are happening for us this month, and I'll talk about it more during the rest of the month. But this today is about the horoscopes giving you just an overriding theme of it but here we have it and it's it's exciting so take that overriding theme of leo with the fire and the excitement and the passion and the creativity and whatever comes up that's how you will deal with it that's how you will look at it and it is going to change this is the fire sign this is the time it's summer it's warm we've got so many other things happening for us let's face it they're out there we see them every single day let's now focus on the joy that we have inside us how can you use the elements of your sun sign whether it's gemini whether it's taurus whether it's the the six that i've just written down here for people that are waiting to have theirs their sun sign talked about so it is about fun jackie if anybody can have fun it is you you are amazing so here we have that what are the elements of your sun sign that you can now harness to be more successful what are some of the elements that you haven't been using fully that you can harness for success and joy and happiness and all of those things that we want in life let's face it we have a lot of those opportunities right now to make things better to focus inside we don't have control over what's happening outside and especially now so here we have it here we can do it and just check it out it's half price this month it is the sun sign reading for your sun sign and yes it will be wonderful rose i'm so glad you're here that is wonderful i'm glad you found it i saw that you had been looking on the business page but this is where i have it thank you for for being here i appreciate it so i've got scorpio aquarius virgo libra sagittarius and taurus 
written down. If I've missed someone, please let me know because then I will add that in. But I, but we are here. So this is really, really, I'm just excited. Yes, and it is Leo time. So yes, that's probably a lot of it. But this is going to be a major full moon tomorrow. It triggers the Saturn Uranus square. We've got all the other things happening. And before we know it, and that, it, I mean, it's just going to be an amazing month. It's going to be an amazing month. Mercury is getting ready this month to leave Cancer. And we're, it's now moving into Leo. And it is phenomenal. So yes, I didn't add Leo, Morgan and Angie. And okay, here we go. We started out with Scorpio. So let me get to Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> Somehow... Scorpio, you're an authority on a current issue. Whatever that issue is, it doesn't matter. And maybe you think you aren't, and you might question that. So people do look for you, look for you as being the authority. So if you are the authority, get up to speed on it. <laughs> See, Andrea? Andrea, I know. There we go. You are the authority, get up to speed because people are really going to be reaching out and asking you about this and it's really important for your work. So whatever is going on with that, whatever the focus, and you're feeling it already because people have been reaching out. So get up to speed in terms of talking to colleagues, doing your research, doing what, finding out whatever people need for this one thing. Now, in, it may, very well may be for people that in business, like Andrea, it very well can be like, how do we proceed in business under the conditions of not being able to meet with people? How are we utilizing online? How, what type of things can we do to create greater outreach and be of service to others? And especially if it's with other business owners. So this is really important. How are we going to do that? You're already developing your one area and and your group, which is really great, Andrea. And that that's part of that. It's moving beyond, moving out into helping others. In, and it's also helping yourself, but teaching others what the, exactly that they need to know. So the 18th new moon, Scorpio, has new ideas for you. And that's a new moon in Leo. So again, it's about the creativity. So help children tap into their creativity as well by teaching them something that you know. So this is your teaching month in a sense, Scorpio. And this is, um, okay, so yes, expanding your virtual presence. Yes, absolutely. And it is that opportunity to use these different things in a different way. And I know it's reasonably easy to say that, but for what you and Deborah do, do, it's really going to allow you that opportunity. In other words, the energy is there to expand. And not just that, because it is, again, the, that Leo energy. It's also about romance. So that part of your life gets a boost as well. So it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. So it's a good month for you, Scorpio, a really good month. Okay, Aquarius. Let me get down here to Aquarius. The age of Aquarius. I'm, I just love it. I love it. With this full moon tomorrow. And by the full, I'm not sure if I said that. The full moon tomorrow is in the, um, I didn't, sorry. I don't have the time, but I'll get that for you. But it is at 11 degrees. And the really reason I was looking at the 11 degrees of Aquarius, for me personally, because I know my chart, it is opposite my rising sign, my rising sign degree is at 11 degrees Aquarius, at 11 degrees Leo, and now this full moon in Aquarius is fully opposite. So for me, that affects me and partnerships. So it'll be an interesting, interesting time. Interesting time. Okay, Jamie, here we go. Because we've got Aquarius. Um, secrets have a way of spilling out. And especially in the heat of the moment. So be aware fully of exactly what you do. There are no secrets. There can be no secrets. There, 
but this also, the flip side of this is you may learn something that you didn't know before. Something that, that had been um, hidden from you that is now actually being shown. So it's going to, either way, it's going to be revealed. Now, for you, Jamie, I know that it's, it's not something that you, you are transparent. That's how you do business. That's really important for you to be that kind of person. So, but again, it goes both ways. You may be learning something that you need to know now that had been hidden from you. It's also quite easily to speak honestly now. It's really about, you know, Aquarius is an air sign. So it's about communication. Venus is really your friend and it gives you luck in the jobs, in uh, uh, proposals that you're doing, in who you're working with and how you're helping others. So this Venus in Gemini, and it is moving out of Gemini and into Cancer this month. So it's making a big change. So it's really easy now to make those connections. So family needs you now to carve out some time for them. And one of the things you're doing is it's quality time. It's not the quantity time. It's the time of supporting your children. It's the time of helping them learn how to be independent in this kind of world. Because they're, they're frightened too. They're a little concerned about all that's going on in our world today, whether it's the coronavirus or, or all the stuff that we hear on social media and media and all the political banter, whatever that happens to be, you're now the stabilizing force for that and also teaching them about having faith in themselves rather than being fearful. So this is really, really another teaching moment. So if you, if you have been watching for a while, you notice each month has like a theme and I keep, I'm feeling some of the teacher theme in this one. So a long-term relationship gets even better now. It's even deepened now to appear even what, what's old is new, what's new is old. I mean, it's really one of that meshing of something really, really beautiful and it's being savored. I love the word savor because it doesn't mean that you've gone from here to here and it's done. It means you've savored and tasted and relished that journey. And that's the most important part of it. So savor seems to be the word for this month too as well, Jamie. It's about savoring. Okay, we're going to Virgo. All right. Once you get through the first week of August, Virgo, things begin to improve. This may, Again, I was talking about some of the tension and then the full moon that we have tomorrow and then some, some changes happening uh, with other signs. We have also this month, we have a, a planet that went direct and now another planet, Uranus, will be going retrograde. That will give us a total of six planets in retrograde motion. So I, I've been having people reach out to me with the question about, well, things are moving so slow and I, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can, but it seems like I'm not hearing back from people. And, you know, I've got this idea out here and I said, be patient. See that whatever you're working on, good morning, Miss Maya, see whatever you're working on happen. Miss Maya, you did not meet Miss Cancer. I'm writing it down now. So visualize it, savor how you're going to get there. It will happen. It's going to happen. Six planets retrograde are allowing solutions to come about. It's not that we just have to sit there and do nothing. Exactly, Jackie. It's trust the process and don't worry about it because it is happening. We are reaching there. We are getting there. It's just allowing us to savor the journey, to savor the opportunity to find solutions and to find the best solutions for us right now. So that is really, really good. So with that, everyone, you may feel like people are disagreeing. Again, we talked about what conflict means and chaos means. It offers us that opportunity, again, for resolution. And this may, this conflict may be happening with people that you care about. It's not yours. 
always. It's not yours. You are there for support. Again, support only. This is, again, the teacher month, it seems to be. So teachers are supportive, and that's what you're doing. Venus is in your 11th house, and it's bringing, which is social organizations, bringing the right people to you. So that is a fantastic thing. Act, actually, every person that's coming in is going to give you a piece of information that you really need. So stay there. Listen to them. As Jackie said, everything is working out for your greater good and stay in the high energy to attract even more. Uh, there may be some tension in family with kids or it might be a health focus. Whatever that happens to be, again, that will smooth out. The most important part that you and your partner are stronger than ever now. So you are have a strong support base to continue doing what you're doing. So if it feels a little conflicting and chaotic, it will be fine. Again, the opportunity for resolution. My blog this month, and I'm, I have, I'm working with my um, virtual assistant because WordPress made some changes and didn't allow my blog and my, but it's in my new, in the newsletter, if you're on my news, newsletter, uh, uh, in, in my database, so to get, to receive that. My, I was called, because I always ask Spirit, what should I write about? And, because I kept hearing the word overcoming, and I'm not fond of the word overcoming, because it's like, well, here I am, and I'm still stuck in this, but I'm overcoming something that's negative. And so it still carries a negative energy for me, even though it feels like you're in positive motion, it, it's still that dragging down with whatever that negative thing was. So it's about overcoming to becoming. So we're switching the wording and that affects the energy. Overcoming is becoming, making that switch, making that change. And that's what this month is about. This is really this month is about. Okay, so um, Libra. Let's get to Libra. You have been trying, Libra, you are the balance side. You are the, the peacemaker. You are harmony. And you've been trying so hard to be optimistic and calm and living that because that's who you are. It's not like you're trying to be that. That's who you are. And you've succeeded even through some some really big opportunities to practice that ability to be harmonious and be there. Don't be surprised if you get a few compliments from people that you hadn't expected it from that might take you aback. Be like, wow, that was a surprise. Know that you cherish it. Know that you deserve it. Know that you're worthy of it. You're the most diplomatic sign and you've been being so diplomatic and helping people, sometimes you feel like I want to close my door and put an out of business sign, closed temporarily, closed under construction, whatever kind of sign you want to put on your door because you feel a little bombarded and it's time for you to step back and take time for yourself and refill that cup. You do your job so well in creating balance and love and harmony but you still have to take care of yourself. And this is the month that you do that. Mars is in your opposite sign until January. Mars is, is in Aries until January. It's a long time for Mars to be in a sign. So it also means that there could be an attraction of opposites in a way. So it's really interesting to see how that works with the attraction of opposites and what your love life may look like. Now, that doesn't mean that that affects those people that are in a committed relationship right now. There may be some conflict, some opposition in, in thoughts, in, in opinions that could create harmony because you come to a solution, a resolution. So that could be really cool. Okay, Sagittarius. I know I've been waiting for Sagittarius, Jackie. So here we go. And Ruth. Here we are. No one escapes the storms this month. You're a fire sign. You can't help it, but you're going to be fare much better than most. Again, the sun is in a fire sign now, so it is complementing your fire sign. 
the sun sign being in Leo while Mars is in Aries, also a fire sign. It just really creates this grand trine around the zodiac that makes it really stirring you into positive action. Not just to be busy to be busy, but positive action that you can actually accomplish something with a purpose and a goal. If you, and it's something that you've been thinking about that you've been wanting to do for a while, but now it's like, boom, the road is clear. I've got the energy and the, and the focus to accomplish whatever it is that I need to do, that I want to do, that I desire to do. That goal is in sight. Mars activates your creative force, especially with children, and they're gonna be active too. So just letting you know, they're active too. It also, this is uh, for Sagittarius, Aries is your fifth house, which is your fun house. So, and that's the house ruled by Leo. So we're talking about vacation and, and romance. And, and here Jackie's off for her anniversary trip, having a wonderful time. And uh, romance and, and creativity and oh, just all the fun stuff that you can think of in life. And it is about children as well. All of these are activated. All of these are activated and including, yes, fun is good. So this is, consider this month fun activated. Fun activated. So I'm not going to put a limit on what you consider fun. Whatever fun is, that's where you're going with it. So this is really a great month for you. Okay, Taurus. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. Okay, Taurus, you've been following an inventive path in your career. You've made some adjustments. You've learned how to uh, dodge and, and go this way and move this way, up, down, around, whatever you needed to do, because Uranus is in Taurus. Uranus is the unexpected. Uranus is, oh my goodness, I don't know what we're going to be doing. It's, but I've got a solution for it. Let's try this. So you have been back and forth in figuring out the answers to what needs to be done. Your usual routes for earning money may not be as productive as, as they have been in the past. So when it comes to maintaining calm and confusion though, you are the master. This is really important. You have reached out to a new network. So it's not that you're not earning money. I don't mean that. I don't mean that. But this means taking it to another level. And it may not just be about the money, it may be what you find valuable. So it's reaching out, being closer to friends and family and neighbors and whatever. And um, I know, and I'm, and Sandra, I hope it's okay if I say this, and I know for Sandra who is, who is a, a Taurus son, her community and her reaching out for, for financial support has been totally different because it's not about her. Her daughter is um, receiving a kidney transplant and at Shands. So her, her sister, the, her, uh, Sandra's daughter, second daughter, has started a GoFundMe with, to help raise funds for part of the costs. A lot of the costs are taken care of for this surgery, but she must stay in, in Gainesville for two months. And this means making sure that everything is okay so that she, she keeps that kidney that she will be receiving. So this is the whole new way of raising money for Sandra. And Sandra, if you, um, you know, you're more than welcome to put in the comments the, the uh, GoFundMe page because there may be some people here that may want to help with that. So that's, and, and her daughter is this beautiful, beautiful young woman with her own daughter who now will have the opportunity to live life fully by receiving this kidney transplant. So this is a whole new way of, of money, receiving money and not earning it, but, but uh, attracting it that is not in the norm. So for 
for her, for Sandra, this is exactly what this applies to. So yes, uh, the last 10 days of August will, will be a little loving romantic possibly. So who knows who's coming into your life there? And you could be receiving an, a, a really delicious invitation that you hadn't expected. So who knows? Who knows? Kind of fun. Okay, so now we're moving on to Leo. All right. From mid-August, you are infused with a new sense of purpose. A new sense of purpose. Partly because Mars is in your solar ninth house of big ideas and new horizons. Isn't that exciting? Okay, my Leos, isn't that exciting? Leslie, oh, I'm so glad that, that and again, I, I spoke for my friend Sandra, but I'm happy to hear for you, Leslie, that that is exactly the case as well. Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> I, I will as soon as I figure out how. Okay, Sandra's going to post when she figures out how, and maybe Ruth can help you with that, because you know Ruth, she knows how to do those things. She helps me with my page. So that would be wonderful. Okay, so we, the beginning of the month, there's, as, as I mentioned already, we've got the uh, full moon in Aquarius, which is the opposite sign of Leo. So we've got all this shifting and, and, and uh, possibly stressful, if you choose to accept that word, aspects. I, we, we could more than likely call them opportunity. To, to find resolution to what's going on. So that's that's all fine. But Mars is in the ninth house, Leo, and that is this big ideas, new horizons, changes in philosophy. It's about foreign travel, which a lot of us are doing right now, but it doesn't mean that we can't be traveling. It is about broadening ourselves and our, it, because the ninth house is the house of the higher mind. So once you make up your mind to change, and Leos are also a fixed sign, that means they can be very stubborn, along with Taurus being a fixed sign, Scorpio and Aquarius. So you are brilliant at just that. So make up your mind if this is a time to change. And also Uranus is in the 10th house. Okay, thank you, Ruth. Ruth just posted the link for the GoFundMe page for um, Brittany. So just in case, there it is. Yay, for Brittany. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this is exciting. There is something new ahead. Ooh, I love that. Whoa, that just gave me goosebumps. There is something new ahead. And know that this is a big month for you, Leo. Something is new ahead, and the new moon is in your sign on the 18th. So the new moon is in Leo. And I was telling you about the full moon being opposite my rising sign. I know I'm throwing my stuff in here, but I know my chart and I'm Leo rising and Leo sun. And it is also directly, the new moon is directly on my sun. So, whoa, fresh start, new beginnings. Wow, I can't even imagine. I can't wait to tell you. However, you're still missing someone close because of distance or not being able to travel. So uh, I know I'm missing my teddy, my teddy. I'm watching a, a little teddy who's asleep over here on the floor. So he kind of lifted his head for a moment because that's his name. <laughs> it's a little white dog about this big. And he's got a cone on his head because he just had oral surgery and he now has no teeth, bless his heart. So Leo, it's an exciting month, a big one for new beginnings. A big one for new beginnings. Again, like with everyone, the, we're, we're going, Uranus will go retrograde this month uh, in Taurus, which is uh, a, a square to Leo sun sign. So that means we're going to have the opportunity to plan what's coming next. It's going to be six planets retrograde. That's a lot of planets retrograde. So... The outer planets, really, because they're so far out when they go retrograde, it doesn't affect us like Pluto or Saturn or Neptune. With you know, It doesn't affect us as dramatically as the inner planets do. That's why we felt it more when Venus was retrograde or when Mars goes, uh, Mer Mercury goes retrograde. And Mars, too. 
So those were inner planets. And, oh, okay, Jackie. Oh, she's going river tubing. And, of course, she's ballooning. This is Mr. Miss Fun. Yes. Have a wonderful time, Jackie. Love you. Mwah. So, Leo, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. New beginnings, fresh starts. And it is, everything is right there because you're going to have the ideas. It's the ninth house that's being affected with Mars plus all another fire sign. So it's all really, really good. Really, really exciting. Okay, Cancer. It's magic, Cancer. Okay, I'm so glad that you came on this by in time. It's magic. Doors are opening. Hey, Renetta. Thank you. Doors are opening and people are returning your calls. You love hearing this. I know you love hearing this, Vismaya. Luck follows you wherever, and it's love, money, work, whatever it is, luck is following you right there. All of your positive mindset, positive intention, and especially for you, um, uh, Vismaya, with your living in gratitude movement that's what this is all about and it's ruth's rising sign as well so yes venus is at work on your career and you may not have been able to see a lot of family right now of course you know and that's about to change too so even with social distancing or people reaching out that you haven't been able to contact in a while it's all happening friends become family don't you love that doesn't that feel good and distant Distant family makes contact. So the mess, it's coming to you. And Cancer, you are the sign on the fourth house, which all is about home and family. And now it's just reaching out and coming to you. It's beautiful. Venus en enters Cancer for five weeks on the 7th of this month. So enjoy it. Enjoy the flirtation, enjoy the romance, enjoy the love that's out there, whether it's family, friends, uh, a new relationship, whatever it happens to be. This is a good month for you, Cancer. So definitely, uh, okay, Catherine, there you go. Cancer Moon, definitely, definitely enjoy it. So let me go back to the top and fill in some of the blanks of those signs that I hadn't done just yet. So here we have Aries. This could feel like a time of review for you, especially in job or career. You've been feeling confined, baby tired. You're a fire sign, so you're all about, okay, oh, Vismaya, triple cancer. Go, girl. This is a good month for you. So you've been feeling confined, tired of the people that are around you, whether it's at work or home or whatever, and it's really been a stress for you. Mars is in your sign now. So it's even activating. What's been going on for a long time feels even bigger and heavier than it did before. So things are changing for you as you move to become truer to yourself. Now, a lot of it has been if you have been fulfilling roles that people expect of you. But if the role is coming totally from your heart and it's, it, it's feeling this is really who I am, why am I fighting this? Why am I resisting this? Because of someone else's expectation? No, this isn't it. Who am I really? This is who I am. I was surprised to find out with, with sheltering in place that this doesn't bother me. And of course, I was an only child. So I was raised around a lot of adults and I wasn't raised in a, a big, noisy family. When I married into an Italian-American family, it was like, whoa, I had no idea that this was what it could be like with all of the noise and talk and confusion and wonderful. It was wonderful and it's all loving. But I found out that it was okay to like being at home. I could still be busy. I was never bored and I actually liked myself. So it worked really, really well. And it was not yet my expectation was I should be doing this and I should and then when I finally realized maybe it wasn't my expectation it was what someone else's expectation was of me so it is it is a wonderful thing to know to find out and that's what a lot of people the discomfort that some people have been having now with sheltering in place is because they are now being 
coming face to face to who they really are and what they really desire and want and finding out that from the inside, this isn't so bad. I really do like this. I really do like being able to have the opportunity to be with family, to love on them a little bit more, to appreciate them that they are still here. And my uh, cousin, within uh, less than a six week period, um, her husband and her son passed away. And it gives you the opportunity to think, wow, and, and she did appreciate them and she did love them dearly. So it wasn't that she didn't, she did. But then now it's, it, says, I, it says to me, love the ones you love. Appreciate who you are, including yourself, including yourself. So it's changing because you're learning to be, Aries, truer to yourself, your most authentic self ever. You're, because you've got to peel away the layers anyway to find out who that is. So be patient with what's going on right now. And, you know, it's now August. Come December, it's going to look a whole lot, di lot different. Rely on your family for ideas for fun because you may have been conscious of where you're staying, what you're doing, you know, uh, especially not having Catherine, you know, your mom, not have, not exposing her to, to things that are going out there, but still wanting her to f have some fun and enjoy some life too. So um, if you're single, there may be someone that turns up. So it's not a bad thing to take a chance now and then, you know, within reason, because we have shelter in place and all masks and all that good stuff. So, okay, so we did air, we've done Taurus, Gemini, oh, Gemini, another air sign. And here we have um, the full moon in Aquarius tomorrow, air sign. So Venus in your sign these last several months has allowed you to, um, deal with quarantine and other inconveniences in a bit more exciting way. And that's what's really exciting. Venus does put that spark and that passion into whatever it is, wherever it is. So now it's in your second house of money. So this can actually deliver all that you've been working on and actually see the cash come out of this. So the dates around the 18th are fortunate for talking to the right person at the right time. Those things have been, you've been, that's been laying out and being put in place. Now it's going to activate. So if you attach, if you're attached or committed, you and your partner should be stronger than ever during quarantine. So celebrate the togetherness. Celebrate that togetherness. Oh, I see a typo. Doggum. Oh well. So we did Cancer. We've done Leo. We did Virgo, we did Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. This is the last one to do here, Capricorn. You're all too aware that if you're not part of the solution, then you are likely part of the opposite problem. So you've lots of common sense. You're an earth sign, so you're grounded. So lots of common sense. So speak up gently and clearly. That soft voice that's, that has that power. Use honey instead of vinegar. You know, that catch more flies thing. This month is tricky job-wise, though, so be careful with that. Be careful with that. Find a peaceful solution. Venus moves into Cancer and takes the pressure off your closest personal relationships. Whether spouses, individuals, whatever, it's going to get a little easier now. So that is really, really good. And Pisces, you're determined to make proper money now, and it's more likely to happen if you're part of a team. So in other words, if we're looking into making the money, do it in a joint venture with the team, with jointly, with other people. It's not time for you to be doing this by yourself. And it may not be easy because personalities are different, but it really is important because that's the strength. As we were talking about conflict being a positive thing because it brings right into, in front of our face what we need to resolve so that we can have a peaceful, successful life. That's the same thing with working in a team. The diversity is your strength. 
The diversity is your power. So you're happier when you have something meaningful to do and others to engage with. So this is your opportunity to put that into action, to allow it to work for you. Your optimism returns now and you have moments of pure joy. Venus has moved into your fifth house. Venus has moved into the fun house. You have no opportunity but to just do that, just to have fun, just to be alive. So that is exciting. So we have a great opportunity, and I'm reaching over for my cards because I didn't take them out on time. Pardon me. Because i got to get my teddy cards. <clears throat> so we have a perfect opportunity to share, to grow, and, I, you know, it, it, it's, I don't like the term conflict resolution. It's about another opportunity to become rather than overcome. And that's what we're working on here. It's not about overcoming the problem, overcoming the challenge. It's about becoming who we really came here to be. And that's the most important part. Okay. Here we go. I've got my teddy cards. So we have Deborah Robbins, Jamie, Wendy Vargas, and Rita. Wendy and Rita got on right at the same time. And I think that was how that worked. So here we go. I'm going to shuffle really quickly. By the way, I just happened to look. I had my notes. I have I keep my notes for each Sunday in in a notebook and I just happened to look at the last comment I made from last Sunday when we were talking about turn down the noise and we talked about affirmations and the affirmation the last affirmation that I see in my notes is I love my life perfect okay Deborah Robbins Okay, this is exactly what we've been talking about. This is the Three of Stones. This is about planning. I'm sorry, I'm backwards again, but oh well. This is about planning, putting time together, getting those ideas together, just like I was speaking about earlier, that we have the, um, the three, we have Six planets re will be after the seventh, I believe. Six planets retrograde. This is the perfect opportunity here. The perfect, let me see if I can get it without, I was trying to get it without some shine on it, but oh well. Hey, Keith. So this is the perfect opportunity here to work together, to plan. This is giving you that opportunity. This is the three of stones. So this is about, uh, this is like the three of pentacles. So this is the earth sign. This is, the, you know, the, the Capricorn and the, and the Virgo energy that getting into exactly what we need to do, exactly how that works so that we can, and Taurus, so that, that your outcome is positive. So take time now, Deborah, to plan with others. This is really, really opportune for you. And it, it's going to work. This is really, really great. Okay, Jamie. Miss Aquarius with a Scorpio rising. Okay. Oh, I love this, Jamie. This is the... Uh, see, I'm trying to do this. Oh, that worked. Okay. This is the minstrel or the king of stones. Again, this is the Capricorn king. This is the person that knows and has all the, someone had this last week, but I'm, I don't remember who, that has all the ideas for business. This is the one that, that can get it all done. This is the one that has the solutions for everything. And I love that the dog is here because it's done with, since it's the minstrel, it's done with song. So in other words, you don't have to come on strong and and powerful and act like the, the know-it-all, which you are, but you don't have to have that energy about you. So what you're doing is you're coming on as if in song. You're drawing people in to have them understand exactly what it is that you know to share with them. And Jamie, for sure, you know. 
and you share this way. That's what I love about when you speak to people in a group or one-on-one. -on -one. You share your knowledge in this gentle, knowing way. You don't have to hit them over the head with what you know. You already know. Oh, okay. I was thinking of that, Angie, that you did have that last week. Right, because you had given your card to Agnes. That's right, exactly. Because I knew we had it last week. And it couldn't be more perfect for Jamie because this is you. What feels, what feels so good is, of course, I love the dog that's there like last week. And of course that, you know, had the colorings of Mork Mindy. So who went to the groomers who I'm sure are just gorgeous right now. That, that it's about that loving way that you share it. A song draws us in, a sh song makes us feel. So it's not just about working up here, it's about working here. And that's exactly what you do. So Jamie, I love this card for you as well. Okay, Wendy Vargas. Wendy Vargas. I'm hoping maybe we can FaceTime later because I'd love to talk to my, my teddy bear. Wendy is Teddy's mama. Okay, this is the, oh, notice all the stones that we're getting. I'm trying to get, oh, okay, this is where they go. This is the four of stones. Now, don't you just love, oh, Jamie, congratulations. Oh, that's so perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is the four of stones, Wendy. And as you can see, it's a hidden treasure. It's covered with jewels and it's all inside. And this is the home of you. Stones, again, notice we've been dealing with, um, with, with stones or the earth signs so far have been all the cards. Of the three cards that I've drawn, all three have been the earth sign. This is saying that look deep inside because there's more answers, there's more treasures there inside of you. You've had this amazing... Um, opportunity that didn't always feel like it at the time sheltering in place with children and working from home but what it's allowed you to do is to see there's even more deep inside that you didn't know about that you haven't seen before because you hadn't had that opportunity to pull it out and to see it this is this is like not just heart, it's like deeper than the heart. So deeper than the heart, we're going into soul level, into that higher, higher spirit connection that just makes you feel and see exactly what you need to know to move forward. It's provided you answers because you've now looked at yourself in a totally different way to see how that works. Wow, that feels really, really good. Really, really good. It's not just, it's not even that shedding the layers of the onion to, to go deeper. It is just seeing it. It's just feeling it. It's knowing that it's there. And you have that amazing fortitude and strength, that inner strength that allows it to happen. Wow, that gives me goosebumps. I can feel the depth of that, Wendy, because you've, you've resolved some things in finding out exactly who, what's going on deep inside. You've, it's made you find peace with other things that may have been a concern. Wow. Okay, Rita. Would you believe... Ace of Stones. Now you all saw me shuffle. You all saw me di divide it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to figure out the lighting with this. I changed the lighting in the ceiling. And if I have my regular ceiling light on, I mean, it's like unbelievably bright. You, you know, it's a whiteout in here. You can't see anything. So now I'm just using my regular light for, for this. So I'm not sure you'll have to let me know what you think about that. Um, anyway, Ace of Stones. Wow. 
this is really okay thank you wendy yeah yay i'm looking forward to it rita this is amazing that number one so this has been our focus evidently this time has been in the earth signs in that grounded <clears throat> in that staying grounded in that knowing and of course this in as it relates to other decks is pentacles so it's about money and it's about how it expands um, our valuing ourselves our self-worth our our deservedness our our um, yes Yes, exactly, Angie. There is a strong foundation, and we've come through a lot over the last several months, all of us, and it's made us stronger in a wonderful, wonderful way that we have found the power and strength within us that we never knew we had before. And that's what this card says, Rita, is that within yourself, you have found that strength and power that we didn't that you did not know that you had before in order to see us see who you really are and be comfortable with that be committed to who you are see that's the, the whoa that was a powerful message be committed to who you are now that you know your authentic true self be committed to it don't fluctuate away from it because of outside influences be committed to it. That strong, powerful inner knowing that says, this is who I am. I need not change for anyone because I know what I need to do, what I want to do, what I desire to do. Outside circumstances cannot affect that now. No matter what I hear on the media, no matter any of the, the gossip or discussion that I hear outside, nothing affects it now. I know who I am, and I am committed to holding that space for me. Ooh, that was powerful. Wow, Rita, I love that for you. I love that for you. And all of the stones, I mean how how more amazing can that be okay i just had to do this i divided the deck one more time no it wasn't stone but it was and is a major arcana and it is the star it is the star is that so all this is saying is that with all of that inner knowing with all of that grounding you just shine no one can take that light away. Think of the light that you are now sharing with the world by being that grounded, solid, committed person to yourself. You can now be the example for others to not be swayed by outside sources of whatever it happens to be. It doesn't matter. You are then the light. Oh, I can't say any more. That is absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm, again, I'm just the messenger. I'm just the conduit. Wow. And I think that must be something that we needed to hear. And couldn't be more perfect for Leo season because the sun is a, the sun is a star, is our personal star. So, and the, the um, sign for Leo is the sun. So it couldn't be more perfect. And I feel really positive about how we are in the world today and everybody that is here today. It was absolutely, absolutely amazing. Again, find out how your sun sign elements can be harnessed for your own success. Again, it's half price. The link is in the comments. You all have made my day today because I could not be sharing these messages for all of you if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much for being here. And uh, if you're not on my newsletter, thank you, Ruth. If you're not, um, uh, do not receive my newsletter, please message me or put in the comments your email. I'll be happy to send it to you. And uh, it will have, again, the blog this month is From Overcoming to Becoming. And then the, the uh, August horoscopes will be there as well. 
Have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I'm going to take care of my two little charges. I have, um, before I told you uh, a couple weeks ago, I had Miss Riley. Well, now I have Teddy, who is the same as my grandson's name, and Austin. And their uh, mommy and daddy had to be out of town. So I have them here with me and I'm enjoying them. Thank you again. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. I am so blessed by you. Have a wonderful Sunday. And remember, joy has your name on it. Bye.